Well, welcome back. Uh, just to recap, uh, the first uh, couple of installments we demonstrated the, uh, the flow stand with the removable cylinders and then we demonstrated the value of the slider that's going to locate the cylinder head the same way every time. And with this little dowel pin hole here, you're going to be able to bump the head up against the cylinder and register it correctly and accurately and go from one cylinder to the next very quickly. Well, now what we need to do, we have to find, have to find a way to open up the valves. Okay, so this is our universal valve opening bar, and it'll fit on any cylinder head. I've had never had a head in here that we haven't been able to get it to fit on. We have these little feet, and these little feet will fasten to the valve cover holes uh, on the cylinder head, and then this rail will fit between the feet, and that'll, that'll attach our valve opening assembly. So I'll go ahead and demonstrate that the best I can here. So this here goes and fastens to the perimeter valve cover holes and we do have an attachment that will work with the center bolt valve covers also. We'll demonstrate that next. So this here goes on. So that's how the feet fasten. So the feet fasten to the valve cover holes and then you've got your rail. And your rail slides back and forth, comes out, and your rail locks down very, very quickly. And that's the basis for putting your indicator stand on. So this is our indicator stand. So here's our one inch travel dial indicator with the opening attachment right onto it. Here's, here's a five axis adjustable fixture that's going to allow us to move the indicator back and forth. So this goes on the stand here is a little key slot. So that allows us to move this back and forth, and these here knobs allow us to adjust it whichever way we want. I've used this on big blocks, small blocks, Porsche heads, Cummings heads, anything we have in the shop, we can go ahead and, and flow test with this. Indicator has the bracket. We give you three different extensions uh, for different uh, heights, different cylinder heads that just screw onto the indicator. So the indicator gets positioned in here like so, and then it locks down. Okay. So now what, what we can do is we can take this and slide it back and forth. We can go up and down with it. We can go anywhere we want. If you have a valve that's out here, a canned valve, you can tip it like so. For this particular application, pretty straightforward uh, inline small block Chevrolet. We're going to position it over the valve, lock everything down. And now we can start opening up the valve and do our flow testing. So if we want to move, when we want to move to the next cylinder, you just go ahead and unlock the top, move it to the next intake valve if you're just doing intakes, zero it out, get zero there so you don't have any play in it. And now once everything else is moved over, you can start your flow testing. So that's demonstrating the universal valve opening fixture uh, located via the uh, valve cover, uh, the perimeter valve cover holes. Okay. So now what we have are these center bolt valve cover holes. The reason, our center bolt valve cover adapters, excuse me. The reason that we have these is because not all of the cylinder heads have perimeter valve covers. A lot of them have only center bolt valve covers. So the question there is, how do you fasten the valve bar? Well, these here, what they're going to do is they're going to bolt into the center bolt valve cover hole and they straddle the valve cover. And all it's doing is giving you a little mount here for those feet to fasten so we can put a rail on. Very, very simple, very, very quick. And like all the flow bench equipment stuff we have, it's very, very accurate. So that goes on there like so. So you take this little guy and you slide her down. And you tighten her, tighten her to the like so. Oops. Let's put the feet on here first. 
Okay, so the feet get fastened first. You can leave them just a little bit loose. And we have, uh, we supply a quarter 20 uh, fasteners and 5 16 18, and the hole is in there, like for a, a small block Ford, has a little bit bigger uh, uh, valve cover hole. So if they're going to be both of there, you're going to have that accommodation. So now we're exactly the way we were before. Nice and sturdy. Everything is tight. So now we come on here with our with our indicator assembly. We can center it, get it close, and now we come over like so, and we're right on top of the valve. But because we're a little further away, we're a little further up. So now what you can do is you can just take off that extension, that's about a one inch extension, and now we put a two inch extension on it. Okay, so now we can go ahead and center this up, and boom, we're flow testing again. Get, every, get down to zero here, and you can start conducting your flow test. So if we can kind of zero in on that camera a little bit, we can kind of show you how sturdy this fixture is. It's not moving. I'm really yanking on this thing and nothing's moving. The worst thing you want to have if you build a fixture, have somebody else's fixture, is have the valve open and the fixture move. Well, that's not very accurate, not very repeatable. So there you have it. That's everything you need to know or as far as setting up our universal valve opening fixture. We also have an attachment on here that will open two valves at a time. If you ever, if you ever want to flow test a four valve per cylinder engine. So um, next installment, we're going to go over the, the final installment about uh, setting up the flow bench. We'll go over the um, radius sunlight guides and how to set that up and what we do on the exhaust side. The radius sunlight guide helps get the air in and then we'll talk about how to get the air out. So uh, post any comments or questions that you have and we'll see you for the next installment.